Hey, welcome back. Today I wanted to go over how to set up the HTC finger tracking that's just been added to Genius. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you're on a compatible headset. The compatible headsets are um, a large list that I might not remember all of them on. So uh, check the video description where I'll copy the um, approved list from the actual you know, listings and the update, etc. So I'm just going to mention the ones that I know for certain, which are the HTC Vive, Vive Pro, and the Index. Cosmos 2, actually. But there might be others, I'm just not entirely sure. Um, so check the video description for the full list. That might have been the full list, I'm not sure. Anyway, once that's uh, you've checked that you're on a compatible headset, make sure that you are not in Neos to start with. And the reason we do this is just that you can make sure that the camera works outside of Neos, which is a common problem. If you make sure the camera works within the normal Steam VR sense of things, then you'll know that you're uh, able to proceed. So inside Steam VR, in the dash menu that appears when you are uh, in VR, i.e. with your headset on, um, there is an option called camera, and in that there is an option called enable camera. Obviously make sure that that is enabled, otherwise it won't work. And once that is enabled, there is an option beneath that which says show camera on controller or something like that. Turn that on, because what that does is that engages the camera and will render it attached to your hand in the Steam VR uh, overlay once you've got your headset on. That's why I say you put your headset on. And what that does is that allows you to kind of see what the camera is seeing and get a use at your, uh, you know, look at your play space. It's meant to sort of avoid bumping into walls and stuff, but it also checks that the camera is working and that uh, Steam VR itself can see the camera and that it's all functional, etc. So double check that. If it's not working like that, leave a comment below or um, visit the NSVR Discord and you may uh, you know, post your problem or we may be able to help you out there. Once that's set up, head into Neos and just head into a blank empty world, doesn't really matter where, and then we'll talk about the in Neos functionality. So uh, for that I'm going to hop over into Smooth POV here. I've got private UI on, so you've got my uh, video display here. I'm going to open up the dash here. We'll start on the home, but go to the settings tab here, and on the right here, look for Vive Finger Tracking, and then there's just a checkbox here. I've got it on right now. I forgot that I turned it on from a previous take of this video, but never mind. Uh, just, you know, trigger it and it'll turn on. There will be a brief uh, hitch or lag spike when you turn it on. That's just the camera's initializing and synchronizing with Neos. It should only last like a second or two. Once that's done, you should be good to go. I haven't messed with the um, hand tracking snap distance and the... Uh, five fingers when snap checkbox. That's similar to the leap motion stuff where it uh, you know snaps things around based on distance. I haven't tried them, so I'm not going to comment on them. So I'm just going to comment on that checkbox. Once that checkbox is on, I'm still holding my controller in the left hand. I'm going to remove the controller from my left hand here. And that is my actual hand using HSC finger tracking. You'll see that periodically the hand will uh, jump back to the controller. And that's because the controller is still in view of the lighthouses. I've just put it sort of under my chair. So uh, it's a little bit harder to to see, but I am holding it with my other hand so I don't drop it, etc. You'll see here that we've got uh, finger spread, um, individual finger control, so there's my uh, index finger, you know, we've got thumb, everything's there. Um, it doesn't handle um, occlusion well. What I mean by that is uh, if parts of your hand uh, cover up fingers, it won't be able to find them, or if your fingers cover up each other, um, it won't do well. Um, and additionally, sometimes it will struggle to keep a lock on your finger. And what that means is you'll either get this where the sort of hand flashes, or you'll get fingers moving when they aren't actually moving. So you can see, come on, let me get a lock. There we go. Um, you can see here that my fingers are moving quite a lot, um, and in some cases they aren't actually moving. Like there, my little finger is totally still, but it's kind of just jumping around a little bit. This is experimental, um, and I'm also using a index headset, which is um, not one of HTC's designs, so um, it may work better with other HTC headsets. So try that, you know, try the Cosmos and the Vive, etc. Especially the ones that have got more cameras. Um, the Cosmos has got like tons of cameras, so try that. That's about it for it. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, put it in the comments or check the Neos VR Discord where we can help you out further. It's really simple. Uh, it's good for social VR. Um, I wouldn't use it to build anything in the world. I need the, you know, the actual controllers being in my hands to make sure everything is uh, happening uh, more reliably. But for social, you know, talking to people, pointing, etc., or hanging out, you might be able to just put your controllers down for a bit. Um, this will improve over time as both Neos improves their integration and HTC improves their integration and as um, VR he like headsets change, you know. Maybe when the next index comes out, it has more cameras or better cameras and HTC can update that. Or maybe index comes out of their own finger tracking based on the cameras. Who knows? Not indexed, but there we go. We'll see. That's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.